All right, so Merry Christmas, everyone. I kind of wanted to do a, a quick little tier list just to put out something for Christmas because I haven't, I didn't do a Christmas video last year either. So I wanted to do something that I was inspired to do by Mark over from this website right here. Uh, I seen freaking Nick on TikTok posted it. It's a tier list for how likely killers would be to celebrate Christmas. So we're gonna get right into it. All right, so we got would celebrate Christmas, would not, and then doesn't know slash doesn't care. All right, so first up is Trapper. I think Trapper is pretty obvious. Trapper would definitely celebrate Christmas. He's one of the most human characters, and I, I'm sure he celebrated Christmas probably all the way up until he was taken into the fog. So that one's a pretty much easy one. Nothing really needed to be said about that one. Wraith? <clears throat> I, think, I think Wraith would celebrate Christmas too since he... He's definitely not as human as Trapper, but the fact that him and Nurse, we'll just throw up Nurse with him too. Since they're, I mean, you know, they're lovers, they got something going on, according to the lore with the Valentine's Day skin. I think for sure they'd celebrate Christmas and get each other's gifts and stuff like that. You know, if they're celebrating Valentine's Day too, you know, they, they most likely they would. And then we got Hillbilly. I don't think Hillbilly would celebrate Christmas. I think he's just too, like, traumatized about the way he grew up. He probably never celebrated Christmas at all. He probably doesn't even know what Christmas is since he was kept in the basement by his parents and stuff like that. So I don't think... I, I won't put him in the won't, doesn't know tier because he might, you know? I mean, he's he was still a human, you know what I mean? He was just trapped in a basement and abused. But I'll definitely put him in the would not tier because I just, I just don't think he would. And then up next we have the Huntress. A Huntress would absolutely, absolutely celebrate Christmas. She has the Solstice Devotee skin, which shows that she celebrates the Solstice every single year, which is not the same thing as Christmas, but, you know, if she celebrates the Solstice, I'm sure she'd celebrate Christmas too, especially if she kidnapped some little girls around that time and, you know, gave them gifts and stuff like that, like she normally does anyway, so I think that celebrating Christmas fits in perfectly with her character. And then we got a shape. I, he, I, yeah, nah, I, Mikey's just... I, he's pure evil, you know what I mean? And the holiday times is like just joy and, you know, camaraderie and stuff like that. And that's everything that Mikey's against, basically. He's the shape of evil. He's pure evil. So I think he would actively not celebrate Christmas <laughs> at all. Of course, the hag. You know, the hag might celebrate Christmas so that way she could eat everybody there. <laughs> no, but honestly, I don't even know if she's sentient like that. I think she just doesn't care about it honestly and then we got the doctor the doctor would obviously not celebrate christmas at all he's a psycho i mean they're all psychos but you know what i mean he's he's got a, he's got a few screws loose and he hates people clearly he would hate to give people gifts i could i already know everything about him and the people who play him <laughs> they're just they're just number one menaces to society then we got bubba i, I don't think he'd know about it i don't i, I don't think his family pro probably ever celebrated christmas i think he would if somebody taught him it but other than that, no, I don't. I, I I don't think he'd know about it. Freddie would not. I think he'd he'd be upset about it. I don't think he likes Christmas at all. He he'd want everybody who participated in Christmas to be dead. Then we got Amanda, of course. Amanda would definitely celebrate Christmas. She'd probably get you some gift that would like, you know, you open the gift box and then it's a jigsaw tape and then all of a sudden you have a bear trap on your head and you're like, oh shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> She'd give you some psychotic presents. <laughs> I definitely think Pig would uh, celebrate Christmas, just in a very demented way. <laughs> and then we got Legion. Legion would definitely celebrate Christmas, all four of them. Like, how how don't you? They would were, they were probably celebrate Christmas in their own type of way, you know, like, I don't know, going out and killing, you know, <laughs> 25 people each, you know, something like that, I don't know. Or either that, maybe they would just get each other gifts. I don't know what they would get each other. Maybe they'd all get matching tattoos or something like that. That'd be cool. Clown. I could see Clown celebrating Christmas. I, I feel like Clown would celebrate Christmas by himself, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> Clown definitely strikes me as the type who'd celebrate Christmas by himself, and he'd just be drinking at home. <laughs> you know, sitting in his sitting in a reclining chair just with the little party streamer going, <laughs> while he's drinking. Yeah, definitely. Spirit? I don't think she would. I think she's too angry. She's too angry to care about Christmas, for sure. Plague? Plague would definitely. I mean, Christmas has been around since the beginning of time, basically and while she would be more along the lines of Huntress with celebrating the solstice or something like that it, it, it's still they they would be the closest to celebrating christmas most likely too because they already do celebrate something similar just not the same then danny I, I ghostface would definitely definitely celebrate christmas uh definitely in his own twisted way too i don't know what he would do maybe he'd be stalking his victim and he'd get he'd leave them a christmas present under a tree 
then they open up the tree and it's like some blackmail or something like that, you know, or like maybe like a severed finger from a friend or something like that. Although that's kind of something that the clown would probably do. <laughs> but I can see Danny doing the same exact thing, you know. Opening it up a Christmas present and it's like, oh, your house key. A copy of your house key. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something Danny would do. Then we got Demo. Demo, pretty self-explanatory. Doesn't know. I, I don't think he knows what Christmas is at all. Oni? I'm sure Oni would. No, no, no. He's too angry. He's too angry. I'm sure he sell him and Ren probably celebrated something somewhere in the past. If they might have just celebrated Christmas, to be honest. That's a possibility. But now they're just too angry. Too angry to too angry for for the holidays. Slinger. Mm, man. I, I just think I just think Slinger wouldn't care. Slinger just doesn't strike me as the type who would give a damn at all. You know what I mean? He's he's an outlaw. He was a bounty hunter. He'd just be doing his own thing. Uh, he'd probably be uh, celebrating Christmas by bringing in new bounties and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll put Slinger in the doesn't care tier. Then we got Pyramid Head. You know, that, that one's easy. I don't think, it's a he's a concept. He doesn't give a damn about any type of holidays. Blight? Blight? Nah, I don't think Blight would. Blight, Blight's just, I don't even know what he would be doing in all honesty. He, he'd just be off doing his own thing. He's Blight, Blight would be the type of the person where everybody's celebrating Christmas, he'd be outside on the patio smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you know what I mean? That type of person mulling over some like equations and stuff like that. The twins, I could definitely see the twins participating in it. Charlotte getting something for Victor, getting something for Christmas, and Victor just being, you know, like the little kid where everybody's getting him gifts and stuff like that. Um, and maybe they did celebrate Christmas back then. Maybe they celebrated the solstice too, who knows? And maybe they did celebrate Christmas back then too, or maybe the solstice, something like that. Trickster definitely would. Absolutely. Trickster would definitely be celebrating Christmas. I think he'd be giving people like super flashy gifts and stuff like that. And then the gifts he'd get, he'd just be like kind of disgusted by. But, you know, maybe he'd put on a fake happy face and then after the party, he'd find whoever gave him the worst gift and then <laughs> We got Nemesis. Doesn't care. Obviously. He's a bioweapon. Pinhead. Actively despises it, I'm sure. You know, that's it's basically anti him in every single way. Artist, just, yeah, doesn't 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 care, doesn't care. Same with Onryo and the Dredge, because the Dredge the Dredge is a concept of all the negative energy, so he he would actively he probably doesn't know about it. No, no, he probably does. He probably just wouldn't. I mean, let's be honest, he he definitely wouldn't, and I'm sure he knows about it. But then again, he's the manifestation of dark thoughts, so we'll keep him down here. Wesker, for sure. I'm putting Wesker up there. I I, I could definitely see Wesker doing something. You know, his his Christmas present would be total global saturation. <laughs> That, that's what he would get for all of humanity. A, a new species, a new elite race. Because Wesker's like that. Pause. Racist Wesker over here. The knight. The knight would do something. I don't know what he would do. What What did they do during the medieval times? I mean, I know Christmas was still around back then, but something strikes me as he's not the Christmas type, but he's like a similar holidays type. I don't know the different types of holidays around Christmas. I only know about the solstice, which isn't even Christmas. The solstice is, you know, just I think it starts in the month of December. And then Christmas is on a specific day. So I could definitely see him doing something. Same with Skull Merchant. Let's be honest, she's Frank, you know, or um, Danny, Trickster, Legion, Amanda, Wesker. Or no, not Wesker, but Skull Merchant, Trapper, and the Knight are all like some of the most human by far. So Skull Merchant would definitely celebrate Christmas. Single Larry would be actively against it. It would he would just hate it. You know, he, he hates humanity, he hates everybody, so. And then we got Zeno, who just doesn't know, doesn't care. And Chucky, I think Chucky would celebrate Christmas. I, I feel like he would, you know, obviously in his own twisted way. But the, okay, okay, we'll put the ones who do it in their own twisted way at the bottom here, actually. I think out of all these killers, the most the most likely one to give you gifts, to, to give you, the viewer, a gift, would be, oh man. Definitely the most human ones. Trickster, Danny, Amanda, Legion. Maybe Amari. Those, those are your best bets. The gift Huntress would give you was would be being tied up by the throat in the basement. In her basement. <laughs> that's that's what your gift from her would be. Just being captured and held in her basement tied up by her throat. That's kind of her thing, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that does it for this one. I just want to kind of make a quick video inspired by uh, those two other guys. Uh, that that list that that guy made that mark made was all, done all the way back in july and then uh nick just posted his video like two days ago or, or no today i think so i just thought that was a really funny idea that i wanted to do real quick and the dude mark actually put huntress like all the way down at the bottom for not celebrating it but you know she celebrates the solstice and that's that's pretty close to the same thing you know if she's celebrating the solstice she's probably gonna she would probably celebrate christmas 
and the fact that she loves giving gifts to her little, you know, the, her little bushkas. So yeah, that does it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And Merry Christmas.